Welcome to Afternoon Express on SABC3, where the stage is yours. My name is Pali Satembe. And I'm Daniel Arquiso. It feels like a throwback on the show. What has gone on to the set on Afternoon Express? Listen, everything has changed whilst you were gone, but we're so happy to have you back. We missed you, Dan. I mean, for five minutes, you guys changed everything up, the furniture. I feel like I've been kicked out of house and home on the side. It's so good to see you all again. It's been such a long time since I've been inside your living rooms, and I've really, really missed you. Thanks for all the love on social media. It's good to be back live on air. Yep, and today we're switching things up on the show in a big way. With our faves Bonnie and Jeannie Globe trotting all over the world, we called on someone very special, besides me of course, <laughs> <laughs> to guest presenter Daniela and I for your weekly dose of Fashion Express Thursday. Indeed, there's a poll running at the moment. If you guys want to go and check it out, we'll be revealing the results of that poll. Who do you think it's going to be? We're also going to have an absolute blast on the show today. And speaking of trend-setting fashion, on our VIP guest list today, we chat to young designer and founder of Persia Streetwear, uh, Lenneth Bowers. Uh, he will be showcasing his latest street-inspired collection later on in the show, so stay tuned for that. Plus, we meet the new contending teams of Winner Home Season 5. It is premiering tonight, 7.30, right here on SABC3. It's going to be live. There are weekly prizes to be given away and a massive home. It's going to be really, really exciting. I'm glad to be part of it again. I can't wait to see you up there, hey? Yes. Doing big things, yes. representing for the Afternoon Giving Express Giving away those family. homes. You guys have nice furniture, I give away a home. Who's the winner? Always upping us down. But first, <laughs> helping us gear into, or rather kick into gear, we've got a multi-talented singer, songwriter and indie artist who goes by the name of Josia. She is known for being a consummate musical chameleon with an adventurous spirit and distinctive artistic vision. Her performances are innovative and unconventional mm -hmm. and definitely something that you've never seen before. So take it away, Josia. <laughs>
That was beautiful. What a way to kick off our Thursday. Thank I you. I met Gloria. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! You just did that to yeah. me. You took me back to 2015 days. You've been a fan of my work mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I'm such a fan of your music. Really? Such a fan. Thank you so I much. I can't wait to hear more from you later. Okay. okay. <laughs> Talk to you later. Yes. Now, after the break, we head over back to the kitchen for some chuck chip and vanilla dough froyo. Can't wait for that. Clover Classic, the creamy taste that takes you back. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express on SABC3, where the stage is yours. Now, nothing beats a good classic ice cream, but we're all going crazy with Clover Classic Vanilla. So you're, we're about to level up with a chocolate chip and vanilla cookie dough ice cream. You're going to, you're never ready rather. You don't want to miss out. SMS the keyword Clover to 33650 to get this recipe and link sent to your device. SMSs cost 1150 and free SMSs do not apply. And I'm standing next to my hair goals. We were just raving over this amazing bob. Michaela, how are you? I'm good, thanks to you, Felisa. This is our first time in the kitchen together. Yes, it is. It's my first time on the show. Yeah, you're going to bring the heat? I hope so. With a more, more of the heat. chill. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. So what have you got for us today? So today we're going to make a chalk chip cookie dough frozen yogurt ice cream. Yum. And we're going to be using the Clover Classic Vanilla. Mm. So this range has three different flavors. Um, today I'm just going to use two of my favorites. So okay. it's the caramel vanilla and the plain vanilla. Perfect. Um, so inside our stand mixer, okay. I've already added a few ingredients in the ad break. Um, we have our two kinds of sugar, so there's brown okay. sugar and caster sugar in here. Um, and then there's our butter, 
and some vanilla paste. So for us newly bakers, and we're not all experts like you, mm. why do you use the two different sugars? Why the brown sugar? This could be such an elementary question, but for me, I've got no idea the difference between brown sugar and caster sugar. So caster sugar is a very, very refined sugar. It's okay. um, almost like a powder texture. Oh, yes. um, but brown sugar tends to have the best flavor when you're making vanilla cookies. It just gives it that bit of a caramel taste. Got it. Um, so that's why we use those. Okay. There's also some poppy ca popping candy in there, which is great. It gives that little bit of surprise. A little surprise in our treats, yes. I like that. So let's open this up. And then in front of us, we have mm. some flour, some chalk chips, and then of course we have our Clover Classic Vanilla. Nice. Um, these are great for the whole family because they have 10 kinds of vitamins in them. Mm. Um, so first of all, I'm going to throw in a bit of the flour. And what I like about this Clover Classic is that exactly what you said, packed with nutrients. So as we're crossing over between seasons, this is a must have. Definitely. You can pack it in the kids' lunch boxes, perfect lunch box size. It's kind of weird, but it was a thing frozen I used yogurt, to do. It's frozen classic on another level. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so then, let's Always just have to get the off excess. the lid. Exactly. Yeah, it's a bit of an OCD tendency. <laughs> yeah. Then we're just going to throw in one container first. Okay. So this is the toffee flavor. Oh, yum. Scrape it in there. Mm. Always need a bit of variety when it comes to the flavors. Yeah, in our flavors. Okay, I agree. So we're just going to close that. Sorry, that okay. was really heavy. <laughs> Pass it for a little bit. Oh, I can't cool. wait. And then we just add some more. You do this in sections just so the flour doesn't fly everywhere into your face. Okay, <laughs> okay. So what, at what point then do we now add the chocolate chips and freeze it? So I tend to like, my, like to add my chocolate chips at the end. Okay. That's just how I do things. But you can add it gradually in with it now already. Oh, nice. Okay. So I'm just going to add the last bit of the flour. Okay. And I'm going to add one more container of okay. our whilst you're vanilla. Whilst you continue making some more, I'm already going to dig in on what you've already created. Sounds like a good plan. Yeah, because I, I can never wait. I was always that child wanting all the tastes in the kitchen. That was my job, a taste tester, because oh, this looks so good. It does and look And today delicious. it's finally hot in Cape Town, so I'll be able to enjoy this guilt-free. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. Okay, mm. so I've added it in. There you go. Nice. So that's done. And then you'll take this, scrape it all off. Mm -hmm. and then put it into a freezer-proof container, uh, either with a lid or you can use cling film over it. Okay. You put it into the freezer for overnight until it's set. Okay. Um, sometimes you don't even need to do overnight, actually. Perfect. Um, but just until it's ready, then what you do is you take your ice cream scoop. Mm. See, I couldn't wait. I just went with the ordinary scoop. It just doesn't look as pretty. Yeah, you know? you just I have love to... those perfectly <laughs> round scoops. Like that. Putting mine just... to shame. I feel like you can have the good one and, and I'll take your one. Oh, out. I think I failed it in the end. Anyway. No such thing as a kitchen fail. And then we're just going to add a bit more popping candy. It's okay. You worked hard for that one so you can keep it. So cheers. 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 <laughs> What an epic treat. Remember to SMS the keyword Clover to 33650 to get this recipe sent to your device. SMSs cost one round fifty, and free SMSs do not apply. Yum. Let's go over to ad break whilst we enjoy. So good. Mm. Clover Classic, the creamy taste that takes you back. Made with love by Clover.
Well, welcome back to Afternoon Express. We are live on SABC3. Now, South Africa's premier design and decor reality show, Winner Home, launches tonight. Season 5 follows the journey of three design duos tasked with transforming three white box penthouse apartments into fully decorated luxury homes. And guess what? You can win one of them. It's so exciting to have the first design duo with me on the couch today, Team R&K, who are competing against two other duos. You guys met like three months ago. What are you doing competing on a competition together? Wow, we are about to bring magic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. I mean, it doesn't matter how long we've known each other. What matters is that we had synergy and we know that we've got something to offer. Yeah, but synergy comes with knowing each other's personalities. Were you, what you expected from each other? Well, her strengths are she's more entrepreneurial and she knows furniture. And I'm more technical. So I thought that would be like a great combination. Mm. You know? It actually works. She sends the emails and I make sure they're pretty <laughs> at the bottom. They have a signature at the bottom. <laughs> All the admin. Yeah. It's, it seems like a cool dynamic. and I've really enjoyed hanging yeah. out with you guys. And I cannot wait for your personalities to come out uh, every Thursday evening on SABC3. I think it's going to be really cool to see you guys you, you know, really come to life as well as your design. Thank yes. you. When you saw those houses, right, for the mm -hmm. first time, those penthouse apartments, there were just these white boxes. What were your initial thoughts? Honestly... I, I find canvases exciting. It means you can go anywhere. The wall could be red, it could be black, or you could leave it white. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I thought it was exciting. The views were ecstatic. Um, they still are so astonishing. We're still so amazed and so grateful to be part of something so epic. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I mean, mean, we just can't wait to put our personalities in there, you yeah. know, like our yeah. design, combine it, you know, and just give people something to look forward yeah. to. The thing is about Win at Home that I've always loved over the last couple of years, it's about the drama, really. <laughs> I, think, I think the design is a huge part of the show and it's a real, there's a real sense that you guys put in your heart and souls into bringing personality to these rooms, challenge after challenge. Yeah. Uh, but we're really excited to see some behind the scenes action. So before we go into our first broadcast tonight, uh -huh. which design contestant team should viewers keep their eyes on? And who, who do you think is going to be like the competition? Well, for us. Yeah. yeah, I think we're going to give it to a Contrast Control. Uh -huh. We've got to watch out for them. Uh -huh. Yeah, we have really? to watch Why? out for them. They're, they're edgy, you know, they, you just don't know what they're up to. And also... Those boys, are just there's something about them. They're retro. They have a vibe. Yes, and do. that vibe we're watching out for. We're watching them very closely. Yes. <laughs> um, but again, I mean, we are the girls, and you know, girls rule the world. So yeah. that's fine. We will Creep, take care of sister. them. <laughs> Definitely. Awesome. Well, we're looking forward to catching up with you guys again tonight, 7.30 on SABC3. It's yeah. going to be awesome. Give it your all. And I'm yeah. looking forward to seeing those homes as they come out. I hope that our viewer wins one of your homes. Oh, definitely. Yes, all right. we hope so too. Thank you so much, Danilo. Cool. Looking forward to tonight. So don't forget to catch Team RNK. They'll be in action. Action tonight, 7.30 on season 5 of Winner Home, which is pre premiering on SABC 3. And what's so exciting is that they look all put together here, but mm, on this show, <laughs> see them on a construction site. <laughs> Listen, coming up on Afternoon Express later on, uh, we're going to be introducing you guys to two other design duos. So make sure you stay tuned for that. There's going to be some interesting drama on this show. <laughs> Add a Nola twist. I wish I was winning those luxurious homes. I mean, a house worth, worth three million. That's a lot of money. Now listen, a change of season means a change of menu. And we, wouldn't be more, we couldn't be more excited to ditch the steam, steamy stews for the summer slaws and delicious finger foods. But we don't want the same old. So Nola is helping us to create a stir with some classic summer recipes. And today, I am so excited to welcome Nola celebrity chef, the wonderful chef, Lucia, darling, Tiani, Unjansi. Your pillows is a moose. Ah, touch right the like is mine. I was about to say, was it one moose? And we're going to make some even more delicious and gorgeous meals here together. We're making something that's a finger food friendly. Mm -hmm. I love, I love chicken strips. You know, mm. to start like as a starter, it's always nice and it's crunchy, but. Inola will just take it to another level. Take it to that next level. Because it's nice, it's nicely balanced, it's creamy. Mm. You know, it just changes everything. What I like about uh, chicken strips is that you can trust them. When you go to a restaurant, you yes. can order chicken strips, mm. but sometimes the chicken strips become dry. Mm. How, how is adding Nola to the recipe going to change it up? Nola will just push it to another level because mm. it's well balanced and it's, it's creamy. It's the creamiest mayonnaise you know in the market. Yeah. So and I'm sure most people are going to be shocked at this because we are going to, instead of eggs, Dipping the strips in eggs, we're going to dip it in Nola mayonnaise. I, I have to believe like this one too I, for, for, before I see it. Like, what did I need to see it for me to believe it. So that's the right English. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I want to get last time to flour. I must spices to oregano. Okay. And then I must 
bread crumbs. Bread crumbs, okay. And this is uh, the chicken strips. Mm. So we So we have And mayonnaise, Lena. So we have to add the mayonnaise to the mayonnaise. We have to add the mayonnaise. Okay, all right. So we have to add the mayonnaise. You know, the mayonnaise was so deep. I'm a chicken strips. Delicious. Hey. <laughs> okay, because so. Because it knows we're about to eat something delicious mm -hmm. here, Sochi. It's preparing. Oh. Let me just hold down the, yes. the foil for you. Um, here we go. Okay, so the first thing we're going right. to dip it here. Okay. Kuna ma spices la. Okay, you can. And in the meantime, oil it here, she's Okay. Yeah. So yes, you need to have something like mayonnaise. Talk to me. Mm-hmm. You need to have food. You need to have no ice cream in your food. Ice cream and mayonnaise. Get in your lung. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. And she start at home. You're gonna make this delicious ice cream using no la mayonnaise. I'm gonna hold you to that. Can you see how creamy it is? So creamy. Mm. It just changes everything. You know, it it uh, you go to the kitchen and you you mix it up with. There's so many uh, dishes that you can create using no la mayonnaise. It just uh, in takes it to another level. And cooking, okay, so yes, the steps absolutely. are, we started with uh, putting the strips uh -huh. in our dry mix, yeah. and then we graduated uh -huh. then to I'm, the, I'm going to go to back the to the, yes. And, and then, then we go to the breadcrumbs. Yeah. Let's, che let's check now if the oil is really hot. Okay. It's heating up, it's almost there. So how do we make the sauce? Okay, so this is how we make the sauce. Okay. Ketchup. Yeah. And of course, our, oh, like our star, yeah, let's start yes. with that one. So we add Gorgeous. our marinades. Lovely. People call this a Thousand Islands. I don't know whether you know this. Yeah, so is it this is how they make the Thousand Islands make, sauce? Yeah. I love Thousand Islands because it always gives me that tanginess, yes. like the sweetness all together. Absolutely. Which is also perfect for our chicken strip. Absolutely. Mm. It's even nicer if you're using Nola marinades because it's very creamy, it's Ooh. tangy. Can you and see? everything we're looking for. Can you see the consistency? Gorgeous, I can't wait. Beautiful. This is definitely my snack tonight. Mm -hmm. Plus with the potato wedges, I can't wait. Ooh. Yes, okay. Yum. Okay. So let's just try and do this. Do, okay. do you think we can go through the I can do the it. Steps? Let's okay. go for it. So I take the chicken, you put it in the dry ingredients. My hands are very, very clean. I wash of them course, before coming to into before. the kitchen. Then you put in the mayonnaise. And then we put the breadcrumbs. So, and so Nola inspires new ways in your kitchen. Yeah, look at you. I'm so chuffed with you. I'm coming for your job. I'm coming for your job. Uh, I'll, I'll do presenting. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So then let me put it in the oil with its friend here and let's see how it does. Mm. Looks amazing. Looking Thank you good. so much. Can't wait to uh -huh. dig in a little later. There's our beautiful finished product. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Now, SMS the keyword NOLA to 33650 and you'll receive a link to the recipe so that you can enjoy these delicious crispy chicken strips at home with us. And next week, Thursday, we're back in the kitchen with NOLA where the lazy Makoti will be joining okay. us to create a stir with a delicious twist on a South African favorite. See, Creamy samp and beans with cor with pork trotters. I can't yeah. even speak because my mouth is salivating. <laughs> with pork <laughs> trotters. She'll be creating a stir like yeah. I did this afternoon. A hundred percent. Now you don't want to miss out. If you want another look to this recipe, here's a recap.
Ooh, that food looks delicious. And so from food to internal decor, this afternoon we're meeting the talented design duos competing in the new season of Winner Home, which broadcasts tonight, 7.30 on SABC3. They're competing for a grand prize of 100,000 Rand as they transform white box penthouse apartments into fully decorated luxury homes, one of which you could win. It's going to be really exciting. So let's meet our second team for the day. You guys are called Contrast Control, right? Yes. You guys made that design school. Tell us about that whole relationship. Our relationship? Yeah, how you guys met and how the whole like, team came together. Funny, so how, funny you mentioned delicious. Um, <laughs> I don't uh, want to say anything more. I'm feeling that quiet. <laughs> yeah? No, yeah. So we met at, at college. We weren't in the same year, but uh, kind of interacted in the hallways and yeah. kind of saw each other around and that and formed a bond over, over some time and we've always wanted to work together. So now was your chance. Yeah. So when it comes to design competition like this, what was your expectation coming in and, and what are you guys hoping to bring? Uh, our ex expectations were just uh, a white box, which we got. And I think we will be bringing a very kind of edgy feel to mm -hmm. the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And because we always want to push the boundaries, you know, we, we don't want normal, we hate normal, we are out of the box thinkers. So. We just want to push the box while making it functional at the same time. Yeah. So our previous team, RNK, named you guys as their biggest contender. Ooh. Uh, what do you think about the competition of this year, the other two teams that you're competing against? Because obviously it's about beating them, really. This is what this competition is about. How do you feel about them? It, it is, but at the same time, we're just, we're just having fun with it. We're just enjoying the, the sponsors we've got to work with and uh, like meeting the, the different contractors and that sort of thing. So. Yeah, it is a competition, but uh, we're so confident in what we're doing that uh, I don't think we've got too much to worry about. Mm -hmm. So when viewers watch the show, right, from tonight onwards, every Thursday evening, they're going to want to be f focusing on who their design duos are that they want to be able to support. Um, that flair that you're hoping to bring, right, does it have an aesthetic? Does it have a style? Are you going with a particular theme in your home? We actually do have a theme. Mm -hmm. We're about to coin it. Afrolicious. 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 Cool, we like it. And all of that is going to premiere tonight, 7.30 on SABC3. You do not want to miss it. It's called Win a Home. We'll be on air for the next while. It's live. There's prizes to be won. There's a grand prize of a 3 million rand home to be given away to one of you live on SABC3. So stay tuned for that tonight. Our third design duo to be revealed soon. So the time we have all been waiting for, our guest presenter is in the loft officially. We're so excited. We asked you on social media, who do you think will be guest presenting with myself and Daniello? Well, a lot of people thought it would be Lona Maseko, which she is a fan favorite here in Afton Express. But nope, you guys were wrong. We have stolen the gem of gems, the beauty of beauties from the Expresso Good Morning Show. We have Leanne Williams. <laughs> Finally, we oh. get to have you in the loft. Finally, I get to work with you. And how amazing does she look? You are glowing. Look at you, girl. Thank you so much. But own. this moment is all about you. Oh, thank I you. visited you upstairs yeah. at Expresso and you have treated me so well. So now it's oh. only appropriate for me to treat you with such the same grace and the same beauty that thank you have. Thank you. Humbly <laughs> given me to. So after the break, we're yes. going to be in the kitchen with you, right? Uh, yes. Well, I'm available. I'm available. I'm here all afternoon. I usually watch the show, but now I get to be on the show. So it's a win-win situation. Perfect. In the wise words of our president, Sotuma Yena. Check you out after the break. <laughs>
You're back with After Next Express right here on SABC3. And I'm Leanne Williams standing in on this amazing show guest presenting today. It is an absolute honor. And of course, we're in my favorite place. We're in the kitchen right now where we're making delicious, delicious marinades with none other than the one, the only Chef Clem. Hey. Pedro, Do how are you, darling? Do not adjust your sits. <laughs> this is Leanne in After Next Express I Kitchen. I know. I know. How weird is it? It's Does it feel weird? I, I like it. I like it. I like it. That's well, I watch cool. this show all the time. And you know what? We're approaching Monday the 24th, which is our Heritage Day, mm -hmm. Bride Day. And there's nothing that goes better with a bride than a marinade. Exactly. And uh, you're making this for us right now. I'm going to make it from scratch. Okay. But the thing is, Woody's have taken care of all the bride marinades we need, though. Oh, so I kind goodness. of like this, kind of just take a little bit of what they have on the yeah. shelf and make it your own. Fantastic. But Talking about making it your own, we're asking what makes a good bride a great one? Well, the answer is the marinades. And this bride Friday, we want you to step up your marinade game with not just one marinade, but two, which go very perfectly with chicken or steak. And of course, Kilim is going to tell mm -hmm. us how to do it. Let's work on the chicken one first, because okay, cool. we're not going to use that today. Can I, can I right. get that big spoon from you on the All side? Right. There we go. We're going to start off with a pan. We need a pan. We, we need, what we would do, you do without do. a pan or a man? Oh, or a man with a pan. <laughs> Fortunately, we have both. <laughs> That's <All right>. great. <laughs> to the pan, we're going to go with some soy sauce. So this is going to kind of substitute the salt in it. You can add okay. salt if you want to. But there's something like very sa like savory about soy sauce okay. that works so well in this dish. It does. Because we need to counteract all the sweetness with our beautiful apricot oh, jam. Yes. And that's going in. So this works really well on chicken okay. and also fish. I like a marinade that goes both ways. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Is, is this one of those marinades that you can keep in the fridge and kind of use it either way? You can, but here's the thing, right? Yeah. Once you've used this on chicken, yeah. Don't put it back in your fridge. Of course. Some you don't want that not fun. <laughs> contamination not fun. either. So once you use it once, yeah. you can continue to baste your chicken while you're busy brying it in the okay. oven. But when you're done with it, it's done. Let it go. Yeah, don't do Let that. Yeah, don't worry about okay, that. Cool. Then a little bit of like, a little bit of curry spice in there. Ooh, Why we're not? all about that. You need just a little spice, Nyana. Oh, it, just, it smells amazing already. Lovely. There we go, that's that. Then a little bit of garlic. All can right. I get the little grater from you as okay. well? Garlic and everything. I like this show. Like, I can just stand here and look you pretty. Do, yeah. You know? Usually they're like, get in there, girl. I'm like, no, no, okay. No, no, no. I, I do the cooking. I do the cooking. I love yeah. Clem. There we go. That's going to come yeah. to a nice simmer. Nice. The jam's going to start melting, mixing with the soy sauce. Yeah. As soon as that happens, start marinating a chicken, glazing it. Snook. Okay. Apricot jam and curry. Oh, yes. Oh, my word. I love it. It brings out that sweetness and that delicious flavor that, of exactly. the fish. Exactly. That one's stuff. done. Let it keep on simmering. That's the first okay. one done. Second one. So just as easy, actually. All right. I'm actually going to ask you to help me now. I'm in there. Right, I'm cool. here for you. Tell Pistol me what you need water, me to do. Coriander seeds going All in. All right. Uh, Lovely. I don't know when last I've used a pestle and mortar. Hey. Oh, really? Ah, I'm going to send like you one like at Express, okay? Aggression. Get uh, just, it out. Just take it. <laughs> garlic flakes. A lot of garlic flakes. There I like garlic. Go. Wonderful. And then... Yeah, you can actually start finding that. Okay. Yeah. Start working on that. You've well, if you've just joined us right now on Expresso and you're wondering what is happening, has Expresso taken over? I'm hanging out with the Afternoon Express team right now. We're making delicious marinades for your bride, which is happening on Monday Heritage Day. And I am helping Chef Clem make two delicious marinades for the bride. Mm -hmm. I like okay. that. Yes. Um, smoked paprika, brown sugar, okay. apple cider vinegar, a little bit of that twang. Yeah. A little bit of uh, Worcester sauce. All right. How do you say it? Worcester sauce? I say Worcester sauce. Yes. I used to say Worcestershire, but someone uh -huh. told me that was wrong. Yeah, people, sometimes people call it Worcester sauce. They what? don't know what to call it. It's a Worcester sauce. <laughs> they don't know what to call it. I don't blame them. The Worcestershire sauce. The Worcestershire sauce. Yes. Okay, cool. That's really cool. You can pour okay. that in here for me. Aww. So you can also do this over in, in a pan as well. Yeah. If you want to, to kind of like cook out some of the spices. I like it kind of raw, like yeah. that. It's nice, it's quite aggressive. Wonderful. So, start glazing your steaks, your lamb. Yeah. I think it'll be amazing. Oh my word, it's the gonna be wonderful. But, I'm gonna use this, okay. as is for a steak that I made a little earlier. Yeah. Let me just get the, the side. And of course, if you would like the uh, keyword for what we're making today, the keyword is eat. All you have to do is SMS that to 33650. We'll gladly send you the ingredients list and the link to the recipe. And you could be making these two delicious marinades yourself and looking like quite the hero at mm -hmm. the braai. Hey? Perfectly Look at you. Oh, I am here for this. There we go. That's oh. actually why I said yes to coming today, was for the, the steak. food. Was well, basically the food. Just, yeah. You know what? I don't blame you. It's good. Oh, my word. Okay, cool. Just like that. And a little bit of the sauce, just like drizzle it over. Yeah. Oop. 
No, 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 I've got a sauce to go with it. You got a sauce to go with it. Well, while you're doing that sauce, like I said, all you have to do is try this at your next braai and get the recipe simply. SMS EAT to 33650 to get the ingredients list and the link to the recipe. And in case you've missed any of these steps, you can check out the recap of how we made these delicious marinades. Something big is coming to your television screens tonight. It is the launch of South Africa's premier design and decor reality show called Winner Home. Season 5 of this much-anticipated series follows the journey of three design duos tasked with transforming three white box penthouse apartments into fully decorated luxury homes, one of which you could win. We've been revealing the teams on Afternoon Express today. Two down and the last to go, Team Perma Peeps. Now, strange name, Perma Peeps comes from permaculture, I'd imagine... What does permaculture mean? Well, permaculture is essentially designing with closed systems, trying to incorporate waste and minimize waste um, to yeah, create healthy spaces for people and mm. the environment. I guess you guys have brought that into your whole aesthetic throughout the home that you're designing. But the two of you, as a, as a, as a relationship and as a, as a team competing in this competition, um, it's all about girl power. It's all about trying to really just bring that aesthetic into the home, right? How did you guys meet and decide, we're going to do this? Um, well, we actually met in university um, through Greenside Design Centre, bonded over a mutual mm. love of permaculture and sustainability <laughs> and job creation. I also was going to say cocktails, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> that too. Yeah, that that too. <laughs> um, and yeah, no, we found out about this through one of the previous, previous winners of the show mm -hmm. and decided we'd give it a try. And you've made it thus far. You're one of the three competing teams. It's a big, stressful task to go and decorate a fully decorated home in the time frame that you guys have been given. So the viewers want to know, what are you going to bring? Why should they vote for you? Oh, we are going to bring just very alternative ways of thinking. And yeah, we just, we're really bringing our own personal style into things and uh -huh. trying to just bring in as much greenery into the space as possible and yeah just very unconventional design and mm. different ways of thinking. Mm. I sit in a very exciting part of the show in the sense that I get to watch these journeys happen from the outside. You guys are in it stressed in the moment and our viewers always tweet me and always ask me about the different uh, you know contestants and how they react to situations. Would you describe yourselves as the stressful team, the chilled easygoing team, the crazy out there team? <laughs> a mix. A mix. A mix of everything. Uh -huh. yeah. How do you handle stress? Oh, goodness. We, we do a lot of talking to each other and we debrief every evening to prep for the next day. So it's just all about communication, really. Stunning. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys can do with those white box apartments. It's all going to be revealed on SABC3 tonight. You guys won't have time to watch the show because you've got lots of work to do, all right? Good luck to both of you. Thanks, Thanks so, much, so much, Danilo. Also, you can catch all the action tonight, SABC3 at 7.30 p.m. It will be live this year. There's weekly prizes to be given away, as well as the grand prize of a 3 million rand apartment designed by one of our design duos. Do not miss the premiere tonight, 7.30 on SABC3. Well, I am not going to miss it for anything in the world. I basically have my seat booked. Now, with the love for life and passion for streetwear, Lenneth Bowers founded his fashion label, Persis Streetwear, out of a need to express the street culture in his surroundings. His mission was to create a brand to, that would instill self-belief and pride in the youth of South Africa. 
A beautiful cause indeed. Welcome Thank to the you. loft. Thank you very much for having me. Live in the house. Okay, <laughs> so Persuase Streetwear. That is okay. a name that we kind of have to really wrap around yeah. our tongues. Tell us where the name came from and of course why you decided to start this brand. Well, the name itself had a catch. Um, the phrase itself, Persuase, is a Greek mythology yeah. and it, it, it caught, my, it caught my, my attention as the moment I heard it. Yeah. And with my passion for streetwear and urban kutter, I thought, let me, let me bring it together and see if I can create some sort of movement within, within the youth structure of today. And yeah, it, uh, it's been amazing two years since I started it and it can just flourish from your in. That's awesome. Yeah, and I mean, you just said that you started two years ago, but what our viewers at home don't know that two years ago you were 19. That's good. So you were straight out of high school, you know, trying to find your feet. I'm sure you didn't have the financial backing that you could have, yeah, you know, used to kick off this, 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 um, you know, the streetwear brand. And also, you didn't have the training as a fashion designer. Correct. How did your story start? Well, actually, this started when I decided, let me print some t-shirts and caps for me and some friends. We would go to events. I feel like that's how everyone starts in this industry. We go to events trying to get people to believe in what we believe in. And me having the support of family and friends and being who I am as a person, I think played a major role in getting the brand up there. And that's where it started. So based on the sales, selling the t-shirts and the caps, I actually tried to move in the right direction, yeah. to learn from it and to grow from the, not only in the brand, but financially. And it helped, it helped much. That's awesome. Well, I think yeah. that you've brought us a, a kind of a visual representation of what Persuade Streetwear is all about. So let's bring out our very first model and take a look at what it's all about. Let's get in our very first model. I love this, uh, what is a gunmetal, metallic yeah. look. Tell us more about this. Well, this fabric is a triacetate, it's called triacetate, yeah. and it has a shine when you wear it uh, during summer and in, in, when the sun shines on it, and it, it's basically as a glow. And what I've done here is I've tried to use futuristic ideas, mm -hmm. whereas I cut the sleeves, mm -hmm. the knees are busted open, and wear the adjustable belt for the waist, and yeah, I think it, it works perfect. I love it. Yeah, I was actually about to say this totally gives me a futuristic vibe. Yeah, yeah. You hit the nail on the head. That's the first word that sprung to mind as soon as I saw this gorgeous model. But I love it. It goes perfectly well between summer and winter because in summer, air conditioning, you, you just have to zip it up. up yeah. Wonderful. Look number two. Well, this is uh, the buckle adjustable. I actually started off with the pants. It was just an idea that I got overnight, I would say. And the jacket I recently just matched up with it. Hence is why I never released the pants, because I felt like it was incomplete. And I think I think it, I got it now. I think I got it now. Nice. And the bucket that just kicks it off. Yeah, you, so cool. you wow. definitely nailed this look. I want this look <laughs> for those days that, you know, when you want to travel, <laughs> yes. but you want to look super chic traveling. Exactly. exactly. This is it, because it looks comfortable, it's functional. Very, very nice. Let's take a look at the third model. Well, this is what I call my personal favorite, and yeah. this is inspired by the ice cream colors, and, 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 and I'm very, I love colorful things, and I love colorful clothing, and I think this describes me and the brand as a whole. And this just came out exactly what I thought it would. And Ooh. yeah, you can wear this during summer, especially this time of the year. Yeah, very, very nice. I think, I think a gentleman who would wear that needs to come with a warning because I think <laughs> every, every man will look amazing <laughs> in that outfit. They better come with a huge slogan of saying, warning, not to ruin your life warning. for six months. It's getting hot in here. And yeah. then our final look for the day. Look at him just sitting there on the table. All casual, all comfortable. in our kitchen. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, I'm, I'm a fan, I am a fan. Yeah. yeah, this is something I've tried. I would say I tried the three quarter t-shirt yeah. with, uh, with the underneath t-shirt also for three quarter pants. Mm -hmm. The camel feel is basically what I always try to get myself onto. And yeah, it's short in the back short in the front and it, it just describes mm. fashion for on, a, on a whole new level and mm. I, that is what I'm all about taking your chances and seeing where it goes because not only this yeah this is the ones that's on screen but the ones that that's that's back home there's so many experiments I've tried yeah. that didn't work out but I guess if you don't start if you don't try it yeah, doesn't happen. Right now you're focusing on streetwear but where do you want to see the brand grow? Well, the brand itself, I would like I would like to touch on many other things, 
especially with summer, I would like to go like summer wear, yeah. like bikinis and things like that. But I feel like, let me find myself, let me find the brand itself and, and then see where it can go. But in future, I would definitely want to go in all the, all the other aspects that is to fashion. Yeah. Well, I think there's nothing that you can't do. You've definitely set a very high standard and we're very proud of you. You're showing the youth that anything can happen if you put your mind to it. Thank you so Thank much. You so Thank much. You so much. Let it Bowers, Persuade Streetwear. Well, after the break, as promised, we chat to experimental singer and songwriter Josiah and find out just how she came to create avant-garde images. Welcome back to Afternoon Express right here on SABC3 where the stage is yours. But it's not ours for now. It is the one and only Josiah, also known as Rose Lukele by her name. And of course, it's so good to have her in the gorgeous, oh, gorgeous Afternoon <laughs> Express studio with my lovely co-presenter, uh, Palessa. How are you doing, my love? Amazing. Even better that you're sitting right next Yay! to me. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Well, Rose Lukele, known by her stage name of Josiah, is a multi-talented singer and songwriter and indie artist artist from Johannesburg. Now, her music explores themes like love, loss, alienation and identity. Besides being a multilingual singer, she also directs her own music videos and is about to release a, her debut titled Mamukebe. Let's have a look at the music video that she captured, catapulted her to her fame. Long 
Nga sinye sikati Inti ma Emimo ya nizindungu Zalumsha Guya kupuge voice. I believe you've had it your whole life. You discovered that you were a singer around five. Mm -hmm. At church, were you one of those singers at church bolting it out, making the adults, you know, shameful because you just had that voice? Yeah, I had the voice at church. Today I have flu, but yeah. <laughs> no, no, but that's okay. Um, I also heard a rumor that people dubbed you the next Rebecca Malope. That's a huge name wow. to follow. Yeah. Did I'm you ever feel that in your spirit? To be a gospel singer? Mm. No, I, I knew that I, I was always a psycho, a crazy one. So um, gospel was never a thing, but because my mom is Christian, she was like kind of like making me want to sing gospel. But, but I, I like indie music and making my own sound, yes. But I love that you are your own person, 100%, and you seem to just encapsulate it right now. But let's talk about the earlier days. It wasn't always very early because when one is younger, trying to be who you are, the world does not necessarily accept mm. us yeah. as such. How, how difficult was it finding your voice, finding your look, finding who you are, and how difficult was it for people to accept that? Uh, it was very difficult um, growing up because we didn't have, like, you know, from the township in Davidson, we didn't have DSTV, so people didn't know who was Bjork, who was, um, mm. you know, all these kind of people. Now that, you know, there's internet, people know there's Bjork, FKA yeah. Twigs, and so now it's normal, it's normal to be a psycho, but back then it was difficult for me to be a psycho, and uh, I hated high school. <laughs> high school is hard, eh? High school is really high hard. High school is hard. Yeah. Back in our day, high school was hard. How hard is high school now? High school now is really hard with data and, and iPhones and <laughs> social yeah. media. Yeah. yeah. And going into social media, I don't know if you know this, but you didn't want to enter anything to do with social media at first. How did you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, girl, it's my well, job to know. <laughs> it's my <laughs> job to know. But now, well, as of last year, you had to create a new Instagram. You know, you're getting on Twitter just to put yourself out there because I believe your fan base mm -hmm. in, in Switzerland is quite big mm -hmm. and you've got a nice network going on there. But to push yourself in South Africa, you had to, you know, look at those avenues and yes, those platforms. Yes, I think I have to join Twitter like tomorrow. <laughs> um, I mean, social media for me, it was, you remember Mix It? Yeah. So I, I always thought that Instagram, Facebook or uh, Twitter, it's going to go away as Mix It is a phase, it's a thing. I never thought it was my thing. But now with like my career and social media is like a huge platform for people to showcase, especially when you are like an independent artist. So yeah. you need an audience. So I had to. And I think I kind of like got addicted to Instagram a little bit. Well, Instagram <laughs> After is a lot I started of fun. It. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Yeah. So now we know that the growing up years were tough. People didn't really understand what it is that you were trying to do in the here, in the now, in the era of Instagram. Are you happy in your life? Have you found a place where you can be who you are and are people just loving you for it? Hmm. Mm. Mm. Maybe if I was in Thailand somewhere <laughs> where the people are free and yeah. 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 Well, we can only hope that slowly but surely yeah. all audiences will be as receptive as we are here on Afternoon Express to you and your gorgeous talent. You're such a strong individual. And kudos to you for standing up for what you believe in. If this is the person that you were born to be, celebrate it and we will help you celebrate you. Thank you. Doing so. Thank you so much. Rose, you are stunning. You really are stunning. And you just are stunning. To shine. Too. And you're tall in person. I, you know what? Yes. <laughs> yeah, until I take off these heels and I'm a shorty. People don't know this about me. Yeah, but yeah. you're absolutely amazing. And Thank we wish you. you all the best in the future. Yeah. And just continue to shine and be who you are. You are absolutely 
gorgeous. Thank you so much. Oh, and as we all get emotional in the loft, we'll be seeing you tomorrow, same time, same place, for another edition, a Friday edition of Afternoon Express. Thank you so much for co-hosting with baby. me, looking absolutely gorgeous. Yay. Do visit us soon, okay? I will be here stalking you all the time, <laughs> yes. And to everyone at home, good night. God bless and happy eating. Mwah. Cheers. Bye. Where's the food You're that we've amazing. been here all this time? I know. <laughs>